Good morning, everybody. Today it is a Tuesday and it... No, today's actually a Monday. That's when you can tell it's Monday. You don't know what day it is. <laughs> today's really great because I'm actually... Don't have class until 1 p.m., which is super awesome. So right now is about 10 minutes to 8 a.m. And um, I woke up at 7.30, so an hour usually after... An hour after I usually wake up. I made myself some breakfast, which is some oatmeal. You can't see oatmeal. Um, oh, don't mind the spoon. But oatmeal, we have blueberries, banana, and like granola. Um, I need to add more stuff. Like, I need to add stuff other than the oatmeal because oatmeal doesn't make me full or I get really hungry in the morning. I'm also going to be going to school a little bit earlier than one because I want to mount my cast because um, I made my cast on Friday last Friday but I didn't know we were supposed to mount it so I'm going to go a little bit earlier to mount it um, so that I will be prepared for the actual lab portion of today's um, thing. I think we're making like some type of trays you'll see I'll film it but yeah.
Spencer. Today it is Thursday night around 10 p.m. and I'm studying for my last midterm of this quarter. Finally, it's been crazy because um, last year in our first year of dental school, we had midterms and finals all in one week. So it was kind of like um, we would get it over with. But then this year we had like um, like two midterms every week for three weeks so it's been kind of like uh, tedious to study and be like on the grind for so long but yeah uh earlier today um i took my perio periodontics midterm and it went really well i did better than i expected so i'm really happy about that tomorrow's my patient assessment test um and i'm just losing motivation <laughs> I'm also drinking coffee right now, like intermittently, and I started like um, maybe around 8 or something. I mentioned this before on one of my previous Instagram posts, and by the way, if you are not following me, please follow me. It's at Brittany Goes to Dental School. <laughs> but anyways, I posted on Instagram like a couple months ago that I never drank coffee until I got to dental school, which is hilarious. Um... I never really liked coffee before because I hated the taste and um, but then a friend like told me like oh if you drink it with soy milk and sweetener like it takes away the bitterness yes I'm one of those people that doesn't like the taste but I'll use it for its effects tell me about your opinions on coffee down below I would love to hear them and how it works for you or if you don't drink coffee like what do you do to stay awake I just got back from Target and I literally like ran in and ran out because I'm wearing red today. You know, it's like one of those irrational fears when somebody tries to get to like ask you a question because they think you work there just because you're wearing red. And I just picked up concealer and body wash and it was like $14 and it's so much, so expensive. Dang it. I'm back from Target, put my hair in a ponytail, but it's freaking hot here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly kind of go over my memorization technique So there's not gonna be like a full-on video for like how I memorize things because I kind of um, I already did a video about how I study and how I take notes in dental school So I will link um, how I study um, in one of the little pop-ups and if you haven't watched the how I study video Please pause this video and click on the how I study video because it is so important I kind of just don't want to explain myself again in this video. So here is kind of an overview of my notes that I took um, last time. I didn't take all of these in class because this professor, this is for my pathology class, it's a lot of memorization especially because um, our quizzes are all fill-in so it's all free response and um, so it's more on recall rather than recognition and I also talk about that in my other video and um, because of that Sometimes she says things that are very obscure and during lecture and she speaks very fast and sometimes we can't like get it all down. So um, what we do is she is really like she's really nice in the sense that she puts up like her recordings online so we could do that. Yeah, so after I go through the whole lecture and like type out all my notes, then I go to my favorite um, app which is... Anki and maybe some of you guys have heard of it but this is my favorite app to memorize a whole bunch of stuff and I have it like organized into my classes and my um my like lectures of the classes and um so here I have all my, my pathology right here and then um let me just show you guys how this works so I'm going to create a deck um, I'm going to name it to practice. Did I spell practice right? I think I did. Okay, so I'm going to go to practice right here and I'm going to cr create a bunch of flashcards. So I go to add and this thing pops up and um, I'll put down like a question like a look here like what is um, a genotype? What is a genotype and of course it'll be like a different vocab and everything um, and a whole bunch of facts and a bunch of lists um, and then I'd be like it's the actual code present whatever okay I'm writing with one 
at a jean locus. Okay, there. And then I add it, and then basically I add like a whole bunch of, um, I add a whole bunch of flashcards, and they're all like one question and then one answer each. And what's cool about Anki is, okay, let me open up like something that I've actually, here. Ah, oh, there's just too much. Okay. So, um, we'll study that. What is the treatment of this? Lactose free diet for the first two years of life. Okay, then you're gonna test yourself. I think you can see, but it's like again, hard, good, easy. And basically, what Anki does is that it kind of like rotates the flashcards in a specific way called like base repetition. And ideally, you would do these decks every day, but what I do is I just use them to learn because I just don't have enough time to like keep going through old decks. But yeah, uh, ideally, this is my favorite thing to do. Another thing to do to memorize a whole bunch of long lists is to memorize them in the order of like the little list. Like so, I can't really explain it, but that's how I memorize things and how I memorize a lot of things. Um, it's all about repetition. And the reason why I just don't make my own notes and read through them over and over again is because I'm not really interacting with the information itself. I could read a whole bunch of things over and over again, but not know if I really know it unless I test myself. So that's why flashcards, I'm a big proponent of flashcards um, because it just tests me about what I know and so I can fix that and I'm focused more on those things because um, it's all about recall, recall. I'm recalling, I'm regurgitating things to you. I'm just not recognizing things and I go through I, and you know, I keep talking about this, but I do, do go through it over um, my how to study video. I just kind of wanted to show you a little quick thing of how Anki works. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Sorry that it's kind of a little all over the place um, and the memorization te technique thing was kind of short. I just feel like you guys, I don't know, as an audience, like vlogs better and then a little like advice in the middle of a vlog or in the vlog rather than like watching me having a sit down video and just go on and on about how to do this or how to do that. Um, so I just decided to just combine a vlog with like little like advice how to memorize things. So uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel if you want to. Um, I do post videos every week about dental school and dental school advice and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!